I assume we're to go to the. Uh, yeah, just to Gardenia. Uh, I thought we were gonna go straight to the other person. Fear and Odin in the Shroud. Uh, let's drop Howling Eye. Have a look at the building. Grand destruction, and I noticed I only ever pay attention to this bit of it. Uh, you. We'll start with this. Drum Crown of the Science. Glad I am to see you. I assu uh, assume you've been apprised of the situation regarding the Mughal monarch. After your previous disposal to the king, Kupu O Koop approached the Mughals guard and attempted to convince them of the error of their ways. Fortunately, it seems his efforts of persuasion had rather the opposite effect. The royal sentries reportedly flew into a frenzy and focused their righteous indignation into a new summoning ritual. Mayhap it was the unwavering intensity of the Mughal guards' prayers, but the king has returned to, to the forest, uh, enveloped in an almost blinding aura of majesty. Kubo Kopp tells us that this dauntingly uh, maniacal avatar is now taking to call himself Great King Mughal Monk to Twelfth. Suffice to say that the elder seed seer is willing to condone the nestful act of regicide. Uh, the safety of all who dwell in the Twelfth's wood. For the safety of all who dwell in twelve wood, it's been decided the king must fall. A certain member of the Elder Seed Seer's personal uh, guard has already escorted Kubo Kopp to the war that shields the monarch's domain. Those among us with the ability to see uh, Mughals are often, are often in high demand, but considering the urgency of your mission, our leader felt it best to expedite matters. Uh, pray make your preparations and set out as you're able. Kubo Kopp awaits uh, you at, in the Bramble Patch in East Shroud. Once more, Garuda has fallen to your might. You have our gratitude, Drumcrane. We are blessed to count such heroes among our allies. What's this? Some memento of the battle, mayhap? Vortex so uh, Ritual Focus. A uh, gruesome ritual tool fashioned from the bones of an Ixal. Ooh. Uh, what? Ugh, what an uncanny arrangement of bone. Never seen its like. I could not guess for what foul ritual this object will be used. Mayhap there be some connection to the primal, considering the place in which it was found. I must ask that you take this grizzly trophy to Waking Sands and consult Oranger. Uh, uh, perhaps he can provide some insight. Can't quite remember how he says it. Let's head to here. Two things I need to do here. There's a possible weapon upgrade here. Er, wave here. Um, Faith, actually. And then obviously the Moogle. Apparently, I only won on a greed roll on that for four. Christ. Um. The enmity of my enemy. Okay, it's not here. Uh, is there anything else to do here? Ooh, Gruda card. Yeah, just the uh, milk root costers. Over here in the Sofans. Oh, wait. D that one. I misspelled that. The enmity. Yeah, that. Tally ho! Wrong way. Well, you ho. 
that's actually apparently greeting, but it's still a tally how I just use it the same way. It's from the dwarves in like FF4 or FF5? I'm not sure. Again, never actually played them. I could also do the beast quests while I'm here. Seven, no AoE is available to me. Actually, I technically do have an AoE Doom Spike, but it's not quite as good as what, what I would want. For an extreme boss, that was actually rather easy. Well, we did fail a few times. It was it's not nearly as bad as what I've seen elsewhere. The uh, sprites, sylphs, sylphs. Uh, don't seem to care too much about me. They're focused quite heavily on the uh, cohorts. I think I will be stopping now in a sec after this. I just wanted to make sure I got this done before, um... It disappeared. Uh, I just need to stop for a second and clear my head. I have an annoying, obsessive talk going around it. In it. I'm... Not doing too well. Something's been bothering me. And the main concern is sometimes I say what's on my mind. Don't prefer not to say this one. To die at the hands of a beastman. Well, oh, died at the hands of me mostly. Oh, there you are. Did not see them for a moment. But yeah, once this, uh, once we do the next one. Silph's approaching quickly. Where are my reinforcements? The treachery will not be allowed in the Twelve Sword. Imperial ones foul the wood and uh, foul the wood with sm smoke and ash. Mm -mm. The 
see Dream Toads' size and get that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I think I got a new quest there that I never read before. It's nice multitasking on that uh, that one thing though. You know, don't actually have as much interest in uh, the Sylph quests as I did, say, the Ama Amaja. You have to fight in the middle of all these. Oh, smart man, smart man. Oh, an Ocho on my ass. Now Treebeard is trying to maul me. Drink it. Oh, thank God, this is the last one. My tanks, without your help. I'm going there with uh, with the other Imperial corpses. That phrasing implies he was Imperial. Anyway, Shifty Codger. Yeah, there's ones here I've never done before. Um. I'll read all that I've I have uh, all the new three of these to you in a sec. I'm just gonna stop here for the moment. BRB. Hey folks, I'm back. Uh, okay, when two things open, you can hear me, the game, you can see the game, and I am indeed recording. Valley ho! My hearing's also gone off. Blech. Oh yes. After the other thing. I don't care about that. Uh, Paros. Oh, uh, actually, let me go drop these. I dream of slimy. Uh, Poxan is finding fun to be elusive these days and seeks to acquire dream slime to enhance the potency of her beloved milk root. Unfortunately, the much sought after substance has been monopolized by selfish touched ones. If acquire four vials of uh, dream toad ooze, either straight from source or from the inebriated sylphs, already partaking in its pleasures. Malevolent sylphs have been working their mischief on the forest's mushrooms, lacing them with a poisonous powder that coaxes them to emit toxic fumes. Wash them with spring water to spare the sylphs of little solace from a coughing ap epidemic. Uh, Poxina has. Uh, devised an ingenious way to get revenge on the greedy sylphs who have been stealing pre precious pumpkins from Little Sauls. Make for the entrance to the sylphlands Dick Poxina's hand uh, handcrafted pumpkin bombs in hand. Um, I thought I'd already done a, a set, uh, done all these, but no, they are actually new. Okay, can't re it can't give it to you, it can just bolster it. That's fine. Um, so yeah, um, you'll get get to read those another day. Apologies. If I dropped them, I can't pick them up again. So, would if I could, but I can't. Okay, first one's over here, other one's on the other side. Mm, I'm not gonna make it. I'm 
trying to double back. Maybe I should have headed for that one. Mm -hmm. Would have probably reached it. Can't run while you're doing this, which is very annoying. Wait, do you have to interact with it? Yeah, you have to interact with it. Not just running on it's enough. I swore running on it was enough. Clearly not. Okay, honestly, just sounds like the outro there is just taking a week. Oof. Stay away from those. I think I'm forever just gonna be scared of them. <laughs> Remember, kitties, be careful what you read. Careful what you read. Also, melt there. Hmm. Honestly disturbing to look at. The makeup really does wonders. It looks completely different in FGO. Oof. Not sure. What kind of damage are we looking at here? Yeah. Run. The legs on him. Oh, just recent force by Silver Stacks as turns have been seeking entry into their homeland. Uh, to those seeking entry into their homeland, begun wandering closer and closer to Gardenian settlements, threatening small folk and their livestock. Wouldn't be more of the uh, other guys over there. S ah, so this is Lark's call, home, a, pr a primeval home of the August Sylphs. Excuse me, this one, uh, this old man has never seen such beauty. Walking one should mind one owns business. Greetings, walking uh, adventurer. Would you be so kind as to show this little lady, to, uh, old lady, to old Solace? To little Solace. How do walking one now? A giant roast chicken. You sense something amiss. Uh, walking one is no fun. Die, boring one. Thankfully, they're idiots, so they're not too much of a threat. Hmm? Old growth treant. Alright, I thought it said some but ooze, but no, no it didn't. Walking one is strong one. 
Uh, this one will leave the rest a strong one. Carry the pumpkin bombs to the spe specified uh, destination still fund while your arms and legs are strength. You have 50 seconds to complete the task. There's some luminescent here that will replenish your strength. Seriously? Oh. Cool Christopher fills your arms and legs with new strength. It's a fucking hell of a run. Would have been gone a lot better if I actually had it down, uh, down marked. There's luminous moon grass over there, but there's some here too. Punish me for that. Destination. Let's go replenish. For some reason, I've been thinking that you only got like one shot off each one, but thankfully, that's not the case. Also, I can't see that plant without thinking of this like zombie Farmville game I remember playing when I was younger. Bombs. There. Job's done. Stone herself. That's going to creep me out. Uh, milk root is a curse upon the people. The twelves will destroy lives and tear families. So if the grow deadly drug must be dealt with, but not until they are, but until they can be found, we must concentrate our efforts on ridding the forest of saplings. It's kind of concerning saplings can move the fuck around. I'm trying to minimize how much I damn well look at this foul beast. I just hate their. Let's hate them. Expressions they pull, the weird mount movements, all that. Ah, I have to do this one as well.
Okay, just one more to do. There at the moment. What's up? So, huh. It's not here right now, and I don't know when it's gonna pop in. Not too inclined to wait. So I'm just gonna abandon this. Wait for it to pop any second. But, um, I don't care. Moving on. Uh, this one is having no fun. No fun at all. Did friendly one find dream slime for this one? A slippery substance secreted by a dream toad, known to enhance the hallucinatory effects of milk food. Uh, friendly one brings dream slime. At long last, this one can be smiling, uh, smiling one again. Uh, these ones have many worries these days. Without milk root and dream slime, these ones will be frowning, brooding ones. And what will be the fun in that? <laughs> uh... Kids, don't do drugs. Oh, thank you, brave one. This one just wishes one could see the look and touch one's faces when pumpkins go boom. Teehee. Brave one and this one make a good team, yes? Beast of a time. This one's nose has stopped tingling. Friendly one has cleaned the stink, uh, stinks rooms of dish stink, yes? This one can breathe a sigh of relief. Ah. Friendly one, and, uh, does friendly one not too love the sweet smell of the forest? Sweet smells of the forest. A time. Not really much of a reward, but eh, it's a nice little extra. Oh, thank you, friendly one. Maybe that'll teach sneaky ones that these ones are not so easily fooled. I was thinking of dropping it and I could pick up a different one, but that would have only worked if it would, that was still today's quests. Damn. Um, maybe that'll teach sneaky ones these ones are not so easily fooled. This one will no doubt uh, has no doubt that the touch ones are planning more sneakiness. Pray that uh, pray not leave these ones yet, friendly one. Uh, uh, no more t uh, magic for touch. Yeah, I've already, I've already read these. Um, I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. Um, next is the kobolds. Actually, no. Land up. First, I have to head here. The king lives. Kind of camoed in there for a second.
Keeper of the Twin Serpents. Kabukov has notified the ward in anticipation of your arrival. Pray this raw nightmare is not beyond your abilities. Hmm, that's a new guy. Oh, I knew you'd come. At least, I was hoping, Koopa. Not long ago, I had a stern word with the Mughal's guard about the dangers of turning pleasant fairy tales into disturbing reality, but he insisted that the intimidating force that is good King Mogomog the Twelfth, may his scepter of judgment ever command our respect, is exactly the sort of savior we need. The Mughal's guard are afraid, Kupo, afraid of how the forest has changed, afraid of the never-ending conflict, afraid that we Mughals no longer have, a place, uh, have no place in this new world. I am scared of all those things too, but the thought of unleashing a royal menace upon the Twelfth would scares me even more, Kupo. Please, you must deal with them firmly. Uh, deal with them firmly before this goes too far. Measure trashing, of course. Nothing too brutal. You can enter the torn march here through the terror made in the ward. Take good care, uh, good fortune, and in the meantime, and take care, good fortune. And in the meantime, I'll let the others know that the great king, uh, that great king Mug uh, the twelfth, may his reign end with minimal bloodshed, be vacating. Uh, will be vac vacating his throne, Kupo. Horde March Extreme. Okay. Ooh, high end trial. Kubo cops attempt to chastise the Mughal guard for their dangerous and foolhardy actions has not had the intended effect. Mind of how deadly the twelve wood has become, the royal guards have instead channeled their fear and desperation to calling forth an even more potent potentate. The good King Mogomog the Twelfth now styles himself the Great King Mogomog the Twelfth, and all other evil and all the evildoers in forest shall tremble before his majestic wrath. Um, uh, camp over. Just gonna check my phone. Uh, let's repair. I was thinking I could add the binding coil here. Alright, um... I also did notice the odd spelling of fairy. to Gazi, destroy the incubators in Iron Island, and slight a thing over here. Alright. Thought it was going to attack me, honestly. I suppose the 15 level difference is enough to ward it off. We'll fight anyway. Say 15? It could have been 16. Oh, I have no idea anymore.
think I, I think I read this before. You know, thinking about it, I probably should have just reread it anyway. Hmm. Still, I'm sure I'll be doing it again and again in the future anyway. An extremity unceremoniously ripped from a bomb that never saw life. Fell grenade. Need a big shot. Brush heat from the embers. Okay, you know what? I don't think I have done this before. This does seem new. Shit. So much I didn't read. Apologies, but like I said, I will have to do these again and again. We will see it again. The big shrapnel shrikes. I'm not even sure how to make those sounds. <laughs> They never worry about Tixali again. to go. Mm. Won't be making too much progress. Like, I won't be hitting anyone's new next rank today, sadly. Uh, does Bago have to wait, uh, have on to wait? Is the heart of grenade arm coming soon? Haha. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The uh, an R. Uh, yeah, I've read that previously. Uh, what do you want with Bago? Busy, busy is Bago. Never busy. Too busy for stuff to go. Boom. Shrapnel core. A glowing, uh, petulous mass that functions as the primary power source for a shrapnel. Uh, Bago would like to bring the Order 13 down a peg. Uh, Boo Gao would like to bring down the would like to bring the 13th Order down a peg by sabotaging the workshop. Though Jin Lee only in his discontent, Craftsman has a keen sense for who uh, for who's likely allies are. Dark Mist Gazi might prove receptive to your approach. Gazi is not what the 13th Order will call a team player, and is all too happy to tell you how to wreck the prototype furnace in the workshop. Gazi will act as the guide, and your job is to open the pressure valve in once inside the workshop. Uh, you, uh, you've released the valve, and now, and now, the rejected bomb 
uh, arm inside and see how the prototype furnace deals with this particular stress test. Uh, the prototype is uh, deplorably unprepared for the rigors of consumer use. Take a moment to admire the flames, then search the embers vomited out by the dying furnace and slay any shrapnels that appear. Shrapnels bewildered as they are with a sudden dislocation from the cradling furnace are no match for you. Uh, check the embers again for a big shrapnel and rip out its core. What is this? Is Bago seeing something new? Yes, yes, you have presented Bago with a new lovely, the core of a big shrapnel. Haha. <laughs> Bagao likes Gazi now, and Gazi is safe again. You are puzzled, perplexed, bemused, puzzled. Bagao has no friends, no, no. Bagao has his lovelies. A little green beauty and uh, must ha have a bat, a little bat now. You will go shoot away. Hi, shoot. Uh, go tell Bagao that you destroyed the furnace. Hi, he ha 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 ha. Uh, surprised and furious, uh, go must be. Livid, seething, furious. What dooms Oga would visit upon the adventurer uh, were he to catch him? Maiming, concubinage, doom. Uh, more surprises will spring on Zoga, yes, yes. The adventurer is crafty, nimble, sly, crafty. Soon, uh, Zoga will have nothing. Nought will, will he have. 